The horror of my life started on a day when the man knocked upon my door. He promised my parents I would earn a lot of money, but I would find out later that $3.25 each week was not worth it. When I first arrived at the mill, it did not seem so bad, until I was put in the spinning room. When I walked in for the first time was when I came across another horror. I heard her scream. It was so loud you could hear it from miles away. The spinning wheel caught her beautiful long hair, and she got severely injured. This all happened because she didn't wear a hairnet. I made sure I never forgot my hairnet, and so this horror never happened to me. My overseer was the next horror. She looked at the girls in my unit like we were all slaves, and that's how we were treated. Each room had two beds and four girls, and no one slept on the floor. We slept two in a bed. The horror that struck me the most was nine-year-olds working in this brutal place that I, 15, can't even bear. I hope my sister won't be taken as well, for she turned nine this year. Some girls in my unit are near death, and I hope I don't come across this horror as well. There's one horror we all face, the poor air quality in the mill. While working 14 hours each day, except on Saturday, I can't see how any girl would want to be in this place for more than a year. In my free time, I don't do much. I occasionally will knit and tend my clothes, but it brings back scores from my work. Other girls go to same schools, read, and make new clothing. The one thing that will get my mind off of these horrors is going to church on Sundays. It reminds me of home. Coming from my small family farm to a city and working in a factory is so much different. And I would have never expected any of these things that happened to me to happen from what that man at my door promised. I count down the days until my horrors will end.